So let's take a look at the Mona starting lineup. They're essentially playing in a 3-4-3 formation. Akeem Bernard in goal, Robinho Gordon, Donahue, Mitchell and Carlton Brown at the back in the middle of the park. Adriana Vassal, Damoy Whitfield, Romarion Thomas and Denzel McKenzie up front. Zane Pinnock, Dante Peralto and Kishane Gordon. Zane Pinnock so skilled on the ball, skillful on the ball. Really has a knack for making some incisive runs as well. St. George's College will be playing in a 5-4-1 formation. There's Ronnie Davis in goal, Rashid Hans, Jaheem Henry, Jamani McDonald, Jaquiel Pottinger and Daniel Williams at the back. In the middle of the pass, Zabir Taylor, Keanu Murray, Brian Burkett, of course, who's wearing the captain's arm. And uh, this afternoon, Adrian Reed Jr. and Joshua Jackson, of course, is up front. Joel Brown, the usual skipper, is on the bench this afternoon for St. George's College. So here are the highlights for this encounter. Mona coming away with a win, but they started very sprightly. Peralta here coming across. Zane Pinnock, the eventual goal scorer, couldn't connect with it. That went behind for a goal kick. They continued. And this one tempting across. Pinnock on the end of it. Thomas firing right over the top. He had a couple of those that did Romarian Thomas. Can't strike from distance with fury. But in the 35th minute, Thomas took his Shane Gordon and Gordon had this beautiful pass across Pinnock reached it placed it in and there was some obstruction there from Denzel McKenzie on Dijon Davis in goal for St. George's College but the goal stood second half now Thomas there firing wide from the free kick has the ability but that one he couldn't get it on target Mona would continue to press forward this opportunity here coming to Pinnock who fired first time forcing a save from Davis and goal for St. George's College and they had to clear there'd be more opportunities for Mona and for St. George's College as we have another look here did well did Pinnock and fired first time instinctively and that was a quality header here forced a save from Davis as uh, Daniel Mitchell the 19 gold man for Mona got on the end first time on the volley fired it down in the ground and that was causing all sorts of problems for the goalkeeper there but here St. George's College they would come forward what a strike that was from the substitute Kejan James forcing a save onto the crossbar and Akeem Bernard for Mona did really well. They'd continue. Reed here sending that ball in. And Brian Burkett couldn't get good connection onto it. Carlton Brown there coming in the thick of things to impede him from really getting through. This was a shot from the substitute, Matthew Hibbert. Forcing a save again from Davis. Had to hold it. And that's all she wrote for this encounter. Mona coming away with the win, one goal to nil. Here are the statistics for the entire match. 21 shots for Mona, eight on target, three shots, two on target for St. George's College. 25 fouls, 14 for Mona, three yellow cards for Mona, one for St. George's College. They had eight corners, Mona three for St. George's College, three offsides for St. George's as well. St. George's had to make seven saves, the majority of the possession 57% with Mona and uh, the statistic that matters the most one goal for Mona zero for St. George's College Mona qualify for the semi-final for the first time in the history and also for the Champions Cup as well all semi-finalists will play in the Champions Cup that's how it end. ended here at the National Stadium East Field we're going to the man of the match and uh, Gerard is with Zane Pinnock Thanks a lot, uh, Dean. Uh, Zane Pinnock will be presenting his Mother Match trophy and a smartphone compliments of Digicel from uh, Katie Webley. Thank you, Katie. And uh, let me step in here now to have a chat with Zane. Zane, uh, how do you rate this performance? Okay. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, so now your teammates are into the semi finals of the Money Cup, the farthest that you've gone so far ever in this tournament. Do you think that you've done enough to make your school community proud? Yes. 
and how far do you think you can do well? Do you think you can win the Manic Cup this season? Yeah. And why? As I said before, follow the system. No team in the Manic Cup can beat us. All right. Well, congratulations to you. We'll see you in the semi-final. So that was Zane Pinnock there. Let's have a chat now with Coach Neville Bell.